Hey everybody, we're back with Fallout 4 here. This has got a little bit of a public service announcement for anybody who's been having trouble with thieving uh, settlers. Basically, everybody knows that if you leave ammo or, you know, bullets or anything like that inside of your boxes, that if your village is under attack, that the, the stupid settlers will come and take whatever they want out of here. You also want to keep any weapons that are the same caliber as the weapons the, car the um, settlers tend to carry. So any 38 pistols, if you actually like your dunk pistols, do not leave them in the boxes, because if they have ammo for the weapon, they will just steal the weapon. Also, they will take melee weapons, so they took some of my legendary weapons out of my legendary melee weapons out of the box when I was under attack. Of course, like all of you already know. But recently, things have changed. One of the things that has changed is, as you can see, this is my defense is about 144, and, you know, I don't have crazy resources, but enough to keep everybody from complaining. Um, now they will attack you, and sometimes they will spawn kind of inside your village, where, um, before, if you had enough defenses, nobody ever attacked. It's just one of those things. Now they will attack. It's kind of fun. I'm glad about that. But I had stupid Sturges and Marcy Long run up to my box and start leaving things out of it. And I already knew they were going to do this, so up until then, I had built this. So that I basically, I thought oh, they were only going to take weapons and, you know, ammo. So I kept my grenades up here, you know. But uh, since they started being a bit more thieving than usual, I had to come up with a new solution. And here's the easiest way to keep it from being a pain in the ass like that is, but still keeping them out of your stuff. And I'll show you. So you have to forgive me, it's kind of rainy on this uh, save file, but this will give you an idea of what the best solution is. Um, as you can see, I've got a you know a bit more of a, an arrangement built around the house now. And um, as you can see, stairs go up to it, right? You can just walk on up. But I left just a bit of a gap there because fortunately for us, the AI is stupid. So we've got, you know, I put all the weapons that I, you know, I actually like to care about up here. Ooh, one thing I think I forgot to do, I forgot to move that safe one But I'll move that another time. You guys can see it and watch it I might turn this into more of a move thing later, but right now this is just to show you guys the way, and I'll call it. what will happen. Let's, let's go get an AI. Where are they? they? Must be sleeping. Wake up, you thieves! No, I don't want to talk to the rest of them. No, no. Ah, you'll do. Wake up. Get this fool out of his bed. Coming. Wake up, fool! Really, dude? Out of the bed. Here. Funny when they want to steal your shit, they're real fast then. Over here. Now this will be particularly helpful for anybody who doesn't feel like modding their game, or you know, if you're playing on the console and you can't do the modding isn't been activated yet. This is the easiest way to without having to move walls and do crazy shit, keep these guys out of your shit. So, you know, here dude. Up to the top of the steps. As soon as I tell him to come over here, he has no clue what to do. He's such a dumbass that he has absolutely no clue how to get up here. And all you have to do is walk the gap, and the gap is so small, it's not that big of a deal. So, this is your solution to keeping these fools out of your stuff. Yeah, you sucker. You can't steal my crap you now, can Daniel you? City one of these days. So, anyway, if you guys this found this I helpful, so. leave it a like. <laughs> Keep these thieving fools out of your stuff. So anyway, guys, that's the end of this episode. Those the next one that, uh, you know, basically, way to keep your friends out of your stuff. Way to let you know that, you know, your villages can be attacked, even though, you know, before they've never been attacked. But, like, this is this was the first attack that ever happened to Sanctuary since I started playing. Because it's always been defended well enough and nobody even tries. But this will keep your place safe, keep your items safe, and, you know, you'll all be good to go. So I uh, hope you guys found this useful and stay safe in the wasteland.